What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be casting a mushroom. I went outside, looked around, and I found the perfect mushroom. It's not too big, it's not too small. And apparently, it comes out of the ground very easy. I made the mold for this using a piece of flashing from my house. It wasn't from my house, but it was a spare that I had in my garage. But what I did was, I put a piece of clay underneath the mushroom, placed the mushroom facing downward on the clay, and then you can see here I'm tapping the flashing down so it's sealed tightly against the clay. This is the type of plaster I used. It's casting investment powder, and you need to mix this 100 grams to 38 to 40 milliliters of water. So that's what I did. I'm adding the powder to the water slowly, and then I'm going to start mixing it. You want to make sure you mix it very well so you don't get any clumps of powder in the investment plaster when you're done. I'm slowly adding the investment plaster to the top of the mushroom, hoping that it seeps in to the cracks of the mushroom. I then used a paintbrush to try to push it into the cracks of the mushroom even more. I'm trying to get as much detail as possible. After adding the rest of the plaster, I flipped over the mold and reflashed it using cardboard this time and did the same thing. I poured the plaster in the other half of the mold. After letting the mold sit for about two hours, I then slowly baked it in this modified electric oven outside. Some of you might be wondering why you see a hose clamp around the mold. That's because I'm still getting used to using this type of procedure to cast. What happened was the plaster ended up cracking in the oven. So I used the clamp to hold it together the best I could. And it did a great job because this mushroom came out really good. The only problem I see is that cavity in the middle. I think that was from an air bubble. I'll need to figure out how to fix that in the future. This is what it looks like after I used a wire wheel on it. My intention is to put this on a piece of wood, but in the meantime I'm going to let it rest on the table just like it is with that pad on the bottom. If you liked the video, leave a comment below, and if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. 